yo, y'all know what time it is. We're back grinding on this game. Oh, after the last episode, I, I mean, I uploaded it once and the audio was just absolutely awful. And um, unfortunately, I had to, I had to like re-upload it. And I hate re-uploading things, especially when I've genuinely worked on them. Uh, as you can see, uh, as, as you can see, or, or as you saw the montage, basically we are now officially uh, up to level 39, but we officially got up to 900 transactions, which meant that we can get, I, also, like I've seen a lot of YouTubers naming them, so we need to name them. So this guy has to be Abdul, right? This is going to be Abdul. Abdul, Abdul uh, is going to be uh, the most uh, VIP cashier, you know, my friend. This one is going to be uh, Sam. Yep. And then this one here gonna be Jeff. Yeah, so we have Jeff, Sam, and Abdul. Abdul is gonna be making the most money because uh, the brother is going to be typing in wrong numbers on purpose. But uh, for me, that's a good profit, so it's no problem. <laughs> then I also bought, I think I bought another um, freezer and I kind of put them all in this corner here. Um, kind, oh yeah, we unlocked new products, so now we have. We have this puree, uh, or as we call it, I think it's mashed potatoes. Puree is how you say it in Romanian. I think puree is very similar to how you say it in Polish. Then you have pepper there, and you obviously salt right beside each other. Then coffees are kind of moved it a little bit because I just put the teas together. And then we have a new type of bread. So bread, puree, pepper, and new flour, and new sugar. And there's one more thing, I believe which might be over here. Yeah, the new rice. So now we have white people rice and then basmati rice. <laughs> so as you can see, we need to, oh, as you can see as well, the stalkers are gone <laughs> because I was trying to get these new items in and they just kept like putting things over me and I was, it was just annoying. Uh, and now, as you can see as well, <laughs> as you can see, a lot of, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, so we're kind of stocked up which is great, and uh, that's all good, done and dusted. Um, the day I'm recording this on is the day that the first episode goes out, uh, like f officially <laughs> is posted, you know? So I haven't seen comments yet, and to be honest, I'm not gonna record a full pod right now. I'm kind of gonna do half of it about one topic and then half of it about one topic. That way it's kind of like two topics, and I can hopefully get, uh, some nice, uh, you know, clickbait content. I hope you guys enjoyed the kind of thumbnail that I uh, designed. That's really, really nice. I used AI for it, so technically I designed it, but technically not. So um, yeah, I just use, I actually use vidIQ. It's actually really, really good. I don't have the premium version. So like, I think I get thumbnail, one thumbnail free uh, every nine days. So what I do is kind of, I, I, I start with their template and then I just add things to where like the, the caption, uh, whatever else it is on the actual thing where we are kind of good to open but i don't want to open until i have every single product stocked up so we need to get 12 eggs cheese spray <laughs> and uh and what else and uh tuna so uh i'm gonna go all the way down and we're gonna get um oh oh, oh and chips as well sorry so that's the new product as well it's somewhere there um, yeah, but that's basically all the new products. So we are going to get uh, ba -ba 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 egg stop pack. And where is the other one? We have, um, we'll get one of these just because it's low price. Oh, there's the tuna. And where is the, oh, here it is, yeah, soda. So that should do that. By the way, when I first, started doing this whole like kind of update oh there's loads of stuff. oh okay okay well since the stalkers aren't around that's obviously why the things in the fridge might be empty okay okay i should have just checked the stock at the back rather than the, the stock at the front yeah it is what it is um but yeah since i um but tuna definitely oh yeah there's so much tuna oh i made a mistake look it is what it is it's okay um yeah well before i did the montage and everything i think i was on like 10k or 12k or something like that but i expanded the uh, yeah I even had eggs i knew i had everything uh what's it called i expanded or i was going to expand the shop 
but then what i did instead was i spent like i think a good 5k on restocking which as you can see <laughs> as you can and see that's what i did and then essentially restocked the, the, the whole store or let them restock the whole store got the third cashier and spent i think 300 bucks rehiring them because i obviously had them fired just so i can get every single customer um yeah i guess what we can do now is rehire them just because i genuinely need them to stock and then so higher 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 uh, i need three racks and i can get the fourth restocker so i might as well do that as well to be honest because why not like why not money's free it's you know it's 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 free oh oh sorry about that I didn't mean to knock that and that's to be honest that's a really good transition into kind of today's topic which is money um the people that do know me they know i'm a very very meticulous person when it comes to money um i plan and i'm kind of good with with money uh, from a young age but that's not the premise of the podcast the podcast actually to speak about something that I've created and something that I want to share um, to some of you uh, that actually are interested. So I used to have a finance group, uh, kind of like a little telegram group, with like 20 people. We never really did anything, that is the honest truth. We never really made a fire. But what I want to do now is essentially start um, helping people with their finances. And not, like, I'm not selling something, uh, I'm basically just offering a uh, a creation of mine that I I personally use for my own financials. It's essentially a Excel or spreadsheet basically that allows you to input the income that uh, you have, and it helps you generate uh, a reality of where you are at. See, the, the next thing is 800 and requires third level 50. So I don't really care about that. I have so much time. So when I'm at level 40, maybe I'll start, re, you know, like maybe next level I'll start redoing the whatever. But for, for, for now, I'm happy with, with just having four stalkers. <laughs> um, so yeah, what, what I usually, I use it personally for, for, for the benefit of my, uh, my, my family because uh, there's just so many things that happen and so many things that just go uh, unseen due to the fact that we uh, we as people we, we we love spending money and that's one thing that i want to work on as a as a person is improving my uh, see there's chips there so i just want to add another layer of chips so uh, i want to better myself as a person in bringing more uh, more how do i say it more control over what i spend and this spreadsheet or this what i call it is a finance manager right this finance manager allows me to basically, basically use it every single month input all the figures wages costs break breakdowns of everything and it allows me to be able to ensure that everything that happens and everything that's spent is 100 percent always there in my in front of me so i know what is done and what isn't done so there's never any kind of issues or payments missing or if there is money missing i know exactly where it went where it could have gone and where i could do better going forward so that's kind of the the the, the point of having that it's to allow myself and uh, allow you guys as well to essentially now use it for for your own benefit and that's kind of the whole the whole reason of uh, of kind of doing the podcast about money so that we can talk about yeah the realities of economies the realities of um, the underground world that essentially runs the world the real world um, money is obviously a very essential thing that we all need and again i make another reference to the main man himself andrew tate that says it himself he's like i don't really want to have people on my side that don't have any money because it's so easy to be made especially in such a digital era blah 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 um yeah that's basically what i really want to get into and i'm going to do my best to focus on that and not get distracted by the game but the game is extremely fun to play and it is genuinely like addicting in a, in a good way you know like yeah uh, when i was younger i was addicted to gaming that is 100 percent a reality um 
honey is definitely something that is needed because it's not even full and it always always sells out see i didn't buy this license because oh, stuff for a lot. no alcohol in my shop <laughs> we're definitely not doing alcohol even if i mean i don't need to buy it anyway so nobody will ever ask for it which is great hopefully people don't start asking for products that aren't available it might be a good idea to developer but i wouldn't like it personally in the game just because you know i don't want to have that kind of those kind of products i think anything with alcohol even if it's just one thing that's an alcohol in there i just won't order it i'll just skip it um uh what else i was gonna say what was i supposed oh honey yeah okay great uh but yeah so money wise the reason why i want to top uh, have a quick topic about it is oh there's honey oh it's just nobody stocking it that's what it is i swear i have four stalkers that can stock this and they just don't do it okay sprite and cola we need to can you oh actually no i already have a sprite here yeah great good memory for once <laughs> so there's the sprite and i definitely need to get cola clearly because that's that's gonna go isn't it uh actually i just can put them both here wipe that one wipe that one just so it keeps it more clean this one bring it here uh, that's fine need water water and sprays and cleaning supplies so as i was saying money is very essential in today's day and age we all need to ensure that we continue to have money and make sure that we manage our money very well which is why this finance manager is just such a simple thing but it genuinely does work water is what i need to get and it really does help so that's why i want to just offer like it's not it's not a it's not a huge thing like it's i'll probably maybe maybe charge like four euro five euro something for it like very little because it's it's just what's it called it's just a it's it didn't take me a lot of time but uh i don't want to i don't want to give it away for free either uh, because the people that genuinely do want to look after their money are should be meticulous enough to be like okay i want to spend money to make money because that is the reality of the world in order to make money or to save money or to be able to be aware of the money that you spend you need to spend money i mean uh, from personal experience like i i, um, I spend anywhere between 12 and seventeen thousand euro every single month obviously obviously that part of that this is a bit personal but a part of that is obviously investments a part of that is you know uh, trips to dubai buying things for the wifey but honestly honestly i used to have months like when i was younger and not married or anything where i was spending thousands of euros and i would just look in my bank account at the end of the month and i'd just be there like where did i even like how did i even spend so much money where did i even spend it Do you know what i mean so that's why I just feel like since I've had this financial manager that I call I call a finance manager, I, it's been a blessing in disguise being able to know exactly where the money goes and things like that. It's it's been honestly so amazing. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been so helpful as well. It's allowed me to truly understand like okay, I'm I'm spending that much money there. How, how can I save or how can I cut down on those costs? And sometimes I find a way and sometimes I don't, which is it's all good, you know. Sometimes you can figure things out and sometimes you can't. So it's uh, it's kind of like you just have to learn how to manage everything. And sometimes you can manage everything and sometimes you can't and you, you just need some help. And, and that's what I do when I need help. I usually focus on finding the right element that can help me sort out what I need to sort out. And in some cases that could be things like um, finding cheaper alternatives to food i was as i was saying in the last actually you you, you might not ah will i post that vlog before i post this if i do if you watch the last previous vlog uh, about like building the whole setup and cleaning the room and in the setup that i'm using now um if you watch that vlog towards the end i said that we shop in so many different places and that's genuinely just because we or i mean mainly me i focus on okay so if if if, if aldi can get us water at like 50 cents why wouldn't i at the end of the day water is water whether we uh, use it now or use it later water is water you know so it doesn't really bother me with where it comes from as long as it's you know as long as it's water <laughs> so that's kind of where i'm at in in that sense i think that was grand i think i just messed up again yeah just this one just a little bit higher and there you go perfect so yeah water is water but 
why would I go to the place of Dunn Storage, for example, and buy Evian water, which quote unquote is supposed to be like the best water or whatever, and it's six euro fifty cents for six bottles of water, where at the end of the day you but look like there's obviously a cheaper alternative, which is to get a filtered water, but I just the effort of doing all that. And the reason why I say Aldi for 50 cents and I say Evian for 650 is because the reality is this. In Ireland right now, there's this thing where I don't have a bottle because obviously it's Ramadan, I'm not drinking anything. But basically there's this new thing where you're recycling bottles and it costs you 50 or 25 cents you get back if you recycle the bottle. Sorry, I was just checking if the mic was on because last time I had so many audio issues. But essentially you get bottled bottles after you drink the water, no shit. And those bottles now, you can recycle them for 25 cents and you get 25 cents. However, the, the Irish government has been, uh, is such a, f honestly, such a, I can't really say it, but it, such a D-head because, uh, obviously I'm not cursing because of Ramadan, not because of other things, but it's such a D-head because they now are charging 25 cents on the product. So for example, a Coke bottle, 500 milliliters Coca-Cola used to cost in anywhere between 180 and 220. Now it's 205. So it's basically an extra 25 cents, 30 cents uh, in the news agents because they, you know, said like the people are, you know, the news agents are there like, oh, well, we don't care. You get that 25 cents back. So we're just going to add it onto the price, which is so frustrating because it's like I have to now go out of my way. Oh, look at that. Uh, I got my bottle. I'm going to get my 25 cents. I'm fucking like, screw that. Like Germany has been doing it for years, but I will not do that. Like I have the bottles in my in, in the in this little like spot there, and I'm actually gonna do like a quick, probably like a um, little like funny session in the vlogs with that, just laughing at like people doing it because it's like okay, I get it. Like honestly, if you if you drink a lot of water and you have six bottles of water, but the problem is you're not winning anything. You're not winning that twenty five cents because they've increased the prices of water by twenty five cents. Look, anybody who isn't in Ireland obviously is gonna find this like all funny, uh, because they might not have the same thing. But this recycled bullshit. Same with the, same with the. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Same with the. Uh, what was I gonna say? Can't think of it right now. Same with the turtles and the plastic straws. The whole thing is a hoax, man. <laughs> Honestly, fair play to Subway. They, they're still doing plastic straws, I think. The last time I went there a couple of months ago, they were still doing plastic straws. Maybe they just had a, like a huge abundance of them and they haven't used them since. Or maybe it's that specific Subway, but fair play to them. Because I, I did it. I'm not sure if some of you checked the, the Dubai vlog, but I buy plastic straws when I go to Dubai. They are 3.95 dirham or 3.75 dirham, and which is like 80 cents in, in, in euro or euro, or euro, sometimes even less because I buy them in May, so the, the currency is a lot better. So it's like well, one euro and I, I get this huge ba ba bag, basically plastic bag, just so you know, plastic bag with plastic straws because I don't like paper straws. And anybody who likes paper straws, it just basically means you're gay. And then getting out and going, I feel, I feel great. Okay, are you gay? Are you gay? How could you like plastic straws? I'm sorry, how could you not like plastic straws where you can just have your drink in peace and not have to worry about some paper straw dissolving before your eyes? Like, what are you? Like, what are you, man? Honestly, like, what? Whoever likes, whoever thinks, and another thing is, whoever thinks that it is, they p banned plastic straws or plastic in general because of turtles, they're just delusional because that's not the reality. It's just they wanted to make another business out of making you and other companies get these paper straws so that it's cheaper for them because they're using recyclable materials. So basically, they just take your shit, all your toilet rolls and everything that you bin, they just make you know paper straws and then you suck out of them. Congratulations. Congratulations, you've saved, oh, 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 give us a lift, will ya? Oh, shit, wait, wait. So if I stay inside the car, does it work now? Oh, it doesn't work. Wait, no, it doesn't work. Oh, that was class though, so you can actually get hit by cars now. Hit me, hit me, let's go, let's go. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let these guys finish stocking. I was thinking to basically reorganize some things, so because this is the fridge aisle, you would technically pour like anything that's kind of like cold and things like that. So see the way you have oils here, that's fine. These things are all fine. Crisps again, all good. And then what I want to move basically would be the flour 
and the sugar. I'd like to move them across to here, flour and sugar. Or actually, no, the whole, we'll do this whole thing of sugar and then we'll do this whole thing of flour and this whole thing of flour as well because you wouldn't really keep, uh, technically this whole row is great, but the problem is I need to get rid of this so I can move this one over here and then do this one row of this and then move the pasta here and do one row of that or maybe move the flour here and keep this flour here but then move this whole thing here and then move the whole sugar here or actually oh, no I can't put it here because there's too many things right now that's fine. so that's kind of the plan now so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now so what I need is what I need is Uh, what I technically need is the new flour, but I don't think I don't think we actually have any. Just kind of, uh, no, sorry, the new flour is here, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't actually have any, so that's great. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for them to finish stocking, and then we can, uh, and then we can go there. So that's a great. This is a great time to basically continue speaking about the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, probably a Shopify. And I'm going to put the link below. As I said, it's not going to cost more than Fiverr, I guarantee you, I promise. It's not going to cost more than Fiverr. It's just going to be a simple file. You download it and then you basically do all your finance management. You don't have to buy it. Remember, it's all G if you don't want to. That's no problem. Um, but it's just going to help you with your finances. That's all I can uh, really say because we're kind of in a world where everybody's telling you to make money. But what I'm telling you to do is just manage your money. Manage your money well because you can really, really save money out of the, the money that you spend without thinking where it goes. Uh, what I'm going to do, to be honest. Oh, like, the beauty of it is you can have it on your phone all the time, you know? Like, I'm looking at my February, March, or February, March for 2024. Like, monthly expenses, 18,612 euro and four cents. Like, and, and I can tell you exactly where the money was spent. So, let's just say, for example, one of a Emirates company spent about 2,500 euro on basically company expenses. Then I paid off some investment that I have ongoing. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm paying things off, paying people off uh, that essentially invested. So that costs me the fees, which would be around 2250 to 2300 a month. So basically, we have this project going on. And uh, from the project, uh, there's a certain amount of profit that everybody gets. Usually, it's between 15 to 20% and out of that i basically pay the fees so essentially that covers that's my monthly expenses if that makes sense then i have things especially this month things like the car so i bought the car um the car itself is actually relatively cheap it was just 3850 euro for a nice classic merc and the reason why i got it so cheap is because the guy didn't didn't want to trade it in he wanted somebody to really take care of it so I really got a good price. Oh my God, 54,000. Do you guys remember it was like 27, 27? That's crazy. And now we're up to like 4,200 per, per, per day. That's really good. So cake, oil, and cereal went down. Cake, oil, and cereal. Let me just do that real quick. Cake, oil, and cereal. Well, cake, oil, and cereal. Cake, oil, and cereal. Cake, oil, and cereal. Just so many different things, okay. Cake, oil, and cereal, but that's... Mm. Is that the cake? Yeah, maybe that's... Is there any other cake? Am I tripping? Nobody bought the pillow. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, cool. Cake, oil, and cereal. Sounds good. Oh, we need to get some chocolate. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run another day just so I can speak, uh, finish speaking. So yeah, basically, uh, as I was saying, like that, I, I get to, what I'm trying to say is basically, I can see what I've spent on things. Uh, like for example, I paid off credit cards, which were like this month, because what, what I do, that was like four grand, you know what I mean? So like, it's just, it just helps me be able to manage my money so much more. And, and then at the end of the day, I can say like, look, this month alone, after paying investments, after paying everything, I still have two grand in savings and then have whatever amount I have left from everything. Do you know what I mean? That's good. Like saving two grand a month is crazy. Like. It's not, it's not done easily, but you can do it if you're smart with it. 
like I when I bought the car I, I made sure that he gave me basically like a, 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 just a small bit of discount to cover the petrol but again I was happy to pay his full price but he he was very kind and so on and so forth so we we really got a decent decent price on on the car um like you just want to find these kind of mercs with that kind of kilometers at that price like most of them would have like 150 200k kilometers and would cost like five six seven eight thousand and that's crazy for a 2006 car but that's that's the kind of pricing that they're going for so to get it at the price that i got it was it was a bargain for me you know like it's it, it was a bargain you know and it was also like a an acquaintance as well so you know kind of like I'd say family discount was kind of applied in this scenario, but I'm just taking it. I'm just taking it as it comes. Whatever happens, if, if people help me, it is what it is. Uh, but I'd rather just have full control of my financials, making sure that every single day I check to make sure I don't spend more than I make. That is the problem. When you spend more than you make, you then fall behind. It basically means you're waiting for until next month to cover what you've already spent, or you're taking money out of savings that you shouldn't be taking, or you're taking money from investments. Um, my savings is, is not really savings. My savings is mostly investments. I personally can't just keep money in the bank because I'll spend it. <laughs> I genuinely am that type of person because it's just like, oh, my mom wants something. Oh, my wife wants something. Oh, my dad. Oh, my little brother or my little sister. Like my, my little brother has been asking me for AirPods Pro Maxes for so long. And it's like, it's, it's like I have the money for it, but it's just like, do I, do I, do I, do I spoil him that much? Especially because I built him a, a, a gaming uh, setup basically as well. Um, I was just there like, oh, do I get him AirPods Maxes as well? Do I do this? Do I do that? And it's, it's kind of tough to say no, but sometimes you do have to say no because they have to understand the value of money and a lot of people don't understand the value of money like as i said relating back to the, to the main man himself the top g always t tells people make money do this do that but you have to be smart with your money in order to make those kind of changes in your life a lot of people will tell you and show you how to make money but can you actually make money that's the reality you know can you actually make money and the reality is yes so the reality is, yes, you can make money in any shape of, you know, way, shape or form. There's so many different ways to make money. The important thing is managing that money. Like I can guarantee, and, and, and I think I just said the same thing. I can guarantee if I gave somebody my, my position right now in, in life with the job that I have, with the amount of work that I do, with the amount of things that I have, I have going on and managing a relationship and a marriage while doing all these things and having a family and having trying to have some friends and trying to have some acquaintances, meeting new people, doing business, trying to grow as a person, uh, following Islam, doing all these kind of things. It's, it's, it, 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 everything would collapse if another person tried to take it because I've gotten into a routine, I, I know what to do, I have a plan, I tried to set it out. Obviously we plan, they plan, but Allah SWT is obviously the best planner. So we do follow, um, we have to follow obviously the, the correct plan as well. And the plan that works best and you know that we think is best and we hope that that plan comes to, to into fulfillment and in essence creates new opportunities and opens new doors just like my supermarket is open 24 7 just because another thing i do with the supermarket is i never never close it unless it's like really really important because it's just like if i'm chilling on the game might as well make money even if it's like six seven people that don't have products you know so yeah that's that's the kind of segment that i wanted to speak about or speak about um you know the kind of money and things like that I, as i said i feel like some people are just they're very educated i'm not i'm not gonna lie I, some of you might be making way more money than me right uh, or spending way more money than me because you're more richer than me but I, I don't you know I don't really need to spend that kind of money right now um, I shouldn't even be spending this kind of money either but some of the, the expenses are bespoke like the car and things like that um, and to be honest with the car again like you know I got way more than I had the car uh, for the, the one that I crashed so this allowed me to basically save some money at the same time and pay off some things that I had on, left on the car, like investments that I had on the car, like the uh, radio in the old Polo. I got basically that money back in essence. So I kind of drove that car, quote unquote, for free. 
all I did was just pay the insurance and things like that. So that's what I mean. I got a little bit of extra just because the car value in Ireland is just through the roof right now. So those kind of things, you know, if you pay attention to them, you can benefit. But I would have never known that I could do that if I didn't have the, uh, the, the money manager. I could have never known that, oh, if I get this kind of money, I can actually invest this amount of money and just go for a cheaper car that's more reliable. Obviously, cheap and reliable very hard to find i'm not even gonna lie it's super hard to find but i was able to i was able to do that you know i'm just gonna manually fill these just so people don't say that they're missing because that's gonna bug me out you know like even if i just do a few that's all that matters just so they don't say that there's because i want to go for another day of having a, a, a full-on streak of people not saying that there's items missing you know that'll be great uh, i need to get some toilet paper probably right uh, okay and get one shampoo or get two shampoos on the mother. And we just go here and go here. Just in case it's needed, you never know. Plus we have four stalkers. <laughs> I love calling them stalkers, it's so funny. Stalkers man. Not even water man. Oh potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Yay! So yeah, that's that's kind of my my take on it on on the finances thing. Like, I'm not no guru. I'm not no like perfect millionaire or whatever you want to call it. But I do know things about money that uh, the average person would be kind of like, oh, man, I don't need to do that. I'm like, ah, oh, trust me, if you do this and you manage this right, you could actually save a lot more money and, and make a lot more money in in return as well. You know. Uh, but that's all down to the education that people receive like I, I didn't grow up in a rich family but we are rich now if that makes sense so that's what helped me understand that's what helped me understand the the money and it, it, it was just through grind through hard work and for unfortunately yeah it was just hard work that made me uh, find loops and holes that would make it easier you know so work smart a lot of people say that but in order to get to that stage you do also have to work a little bit hard so that you can get to the stage that you want to be at because it's very easy to fall into like oh yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get to it I'll get to it one day one day and then you never do because you're just too focused on on working so hard that you never sit down and be like okay wait let me work a little bit smart here I, I, can, I can hire somebody to do this instead of me wasting the time doing this because I can focus my brain on this which will in turn make me this more money and that more thing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's the way I think about it, you know? So yeah, um, that's the segment with the moolah, la, la. So uh, I'd say the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, kind of still a part of money, but it's just, it's a whole in it of itself, which is governments and, and the taxation system globally. Another hoax that they have us under the spell. And um, again, I do pay my taxes in Ireland. Unfortunately, I have to because I do have like a whole legal job, contract, everything like that. It is what it is. I'm happy with whatever I get. I pay my tax. I, I don't even pay like the company pays it basically for me, but pay using my money if that makes sense. So they just subtract it from the wages, pay the government alongside their taxes, and that's it. And we call that payslip basically. Because without a payslip, it's they, basically they're not the ones doing your taxes. You do them yourself, which you can, you know, say that you make this amount of money and not make that kind of money. But I wouldn't recommend it in Ireland because they, ah, they're very strict and they're very on the ball, which essentially means they are very aware of what goes on. Um, couldn't find rice, but why are you walking this way? Oh, because there's no, there's plenty of space, man. Fine, let's just move you a little bit in the corner, or move you a little bit here. Just a little bit, there you go. Okay, people can't fit there now. Okay, um, I'd say the best thing to do is this. People queue here. And I'll just leave here. Yeah. I think that's fine. So I'll queue here, I'll leave, and then I just go through the behind this guy and go home. And then if I queue here, grab my things, leave. If I queue here, I just go straight out. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. But yeah, that's, um, that's another thing, yeah. So the whole taxation. My recommendation, and, and I'm going to keep it short, is 
find a way to make to make the same amount of money or more but don't pay taxes uh, if that doesn't work speak to your employer and see if you, if they can pay you into uh, a foreign account that doesn't tar- doesn't charge you taxes in a company in a in a country where there's no taxes on your wages right that really hurts um, uh, but yeah find like for example UAE right set yourself a company provide a service to your uh, actual employer for your weight or as for your wages for your employment or whatever and then that would basically mean that they're paying you for a service which is technically your job so you're just providing your job as a service instead of as an employment and that way you can essentially evade tax uh, avoid tax yeah evade evasion is illegal so be careful avoidance is legal you can avoid tax it that it is legal you know um so creating a company and providing a service that is very similar to the role that you have in the company that you work for completely legal nobody can tell you it's illegal because it's not and it's something that a lot of companies worldwide do right when they employ um, people from outside of the country that they operate in at tree products not bad. that's not bad uh, you know so try that you know that's a method that really does work because a lot of employers don't want to pay taxes i can tell you that much because they're paying more sorry they're paying equivalent if not more than what you're paying a tax so you can imagine they don't want to pay taxes either they're that's that's one thing they don't want to pay either is, is taxes oh sorry i need to order these things so you know that's 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 the way i look at it try to find a way to work around with them to uh, not pay taxes and most employers are very flexible on that like especially if hr hears that because obviously you have to understand as a company if you work for a corporate company for example they're never going to come to you and be like oh you know richard would you would you like not to not to pay taxes because we don't want to pay that you're going to be there like what is this sketchy ass place but then when you actually speak to them and you're telling them this they're like okay that 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 haven't been asked that before but uh yeah we, we can definitely work something on that because it's in their benefit it's in your benefit it's in everybody's benefit not to pay taxes because you're just saving yourself that extra couple of hundred euro a month instead of giving it to the government you're just keeping it for yourself and it, again it's all thankfully it's all legal you know um again just be careful make sure it's of you know tax avoidance not tax evasion evasion is 100 percent illegal and that will 100 percent get you in huge trouble at the company that you work for so make sure you're not actually under an employment contract and then you just ship your money into another foreign account because that's not avoiding tax that's 100 percent going to charge you tax you know there's there's 100 tax um being charged on that money whether you get paid in a foreign account or not uh, I used to have an account in Germany when I first joined the company that I'm still working for and I used to get paid in that comp- in that account there and unfortunately because I didn't have German citizenship I couldn't avail of any German uh, taxes because I have a remote job so I can ch- generally work from anywhere in the world so I can just say that I'm now a resident in Germany and pay l- less taxes than Ireland or the other way around I now am working in Germany but um, living in Ireland however I am a tax resident in Germany so I should only pay taxes in in the country where the money's going through which is Germany so it's the same thing with uh with uh to get some rice actually yeah it's the same thing with um the flip side which is where you're not uh, a resident and you try to send the money there it's, it's not going to mean that you're not going to pay the taxes it's actually it's actually the opposite you're going to pay the taxes in the country that you're receiving the money from and in the country that you're employed so just you know just just a tip be careful if you do decide to go down this route that you're thinking twice and doing once so it doesn't bite you on the back um that's the only thing i could really say other than that you can 100 percent do it all legal if you just think with your head and not do something that uh if it sounds too good to be true it's more than likely too good to be true this sounds like too good to be true because it is genuinely too good to be true and the reality behind it is you have to put in a lot of work and you have to make everyone work with you not against you 
because it takes one person to pull down the whole ship. And what I mean by that is if your employer at any time decides to go back to putting you on employment, as in on an employment contract, or decides to fire you, you have to understand that now it's your company that's getting fired, not you. So there's no such thing as unfair dismissal. It's a contract between you and the company, it means they can fire you at any time. It's a, it's, it's a risk, but it's also a reward as well. Anyways, sorry for the intervention. I, uh, my wifey came in, so had to report to Luti Curva. I was gonna say, oh, so they stocked up some stuff, that's great. Sauces are fine. Oh, we need pepper, pepper and bread, pepper bread, pepper bread, pepper bread, pepper bread. I don't even know what I was talking before she walked in, so unfortunately, we're just gonna have to pretend like we know what we're talking about. Because <laughs> I actually don't know, I actually forgot. Uh, yeah, so um, the money manager has that uh, gonna be in the description below if I even have time to create the whole Shopify and everything. Because to be honest, I might just just plan to do it at all. I might just do it on a, like a, on a Instagram thing, like DM me if you want the, the money manager and I can give it to you. Um, and I can send you like an invoice and receipt and everything. Uh, oh yes, we were talking about employment and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, that, that would be my recommendation. Manage your money correctly. Like if you can get your money right, oh, you don't need no four, five, six incomes or nonsense like that. If you manage your money right, you can invest your money in things that you are like, holy crap, I can't believe I saved so much money this year. Um, because everybody's like always saying like, oh, make more money, make more money. Yeah, cool, no problem. But you're gonna be making more money and spending more money at the same time to make that money. But if you can get your living expenses to drop by just whether what it is moving out from an expensive area, right? Like for example, if you live in New York, you shouldn't live in New York. You should be living outside of New York, traveling one hour, two hours, whatever it takes. It doesn't matter. Even in Ireland, whether you live in Dublin, it takes you 45 minutes to go from, sorry, 45 minutes on a good day to go from North Dublin to South Dublin. And that's like, seven kilometer eight, eight seven to 14 kilometers driving maximum and, and and seven kilometers on the motorway 14 kilometers if you go through the city center of town and that's 14 kilometers and it takes you about 45 minutes it takes you nearly three to four minutes per kilometer that's how slow going through dublin city center is and that's on a on a good day so don't complain about oh i live outside of new york i have to travel so far now it's okay i'll just stay here and pay six thousand dollars rent are you stupid you can be paying something, I don't know, I don't know, something lower than, than um, some state lower than um, New York, maybe half price or even less. And that $3,000 can go towards a down payment in 10 months for a house that you can then rent out, get that extra income, and that's already boom. So you have your income, your wife's income, and now you have a third income. You can then maybe tell your wife, look, we have this rental income, you can leave the job, put that rental income, as a management fee on a company in a country where there's no taxes. Again, the most important basis of this is you need to have some base where you have a company that doesn't pay taxes or that isn't liable for taxes or a residency in a country where you're not liable for taxes either. That's the only way to, to kind of save yourself from, from doom. <laughs> That's the only way to, to kind of do it correctly without having to worry that you're gonna be paying crazy taxes every single year, milk and that kind of sugar. Oh, uh, sorry, milk and, uh, and uh, where's that one? It's the other uh, side. Um, yeah, that, that's how you save yourself for not paying so much in, in, in taxes. You need to have that base because there's no other way to do it legally. <laughs> you know, like um, unless you want to do a sketchy and do cash on hand or, you know, cash jobs or whatever. That's cool. You do your thing. But personally, I... I'm not going to risk that, um, especially because I studied law. I know essentially that with international laws, international laws, remember, uh, just listen carefully, international laws, you actually don't owe oh, uh, taxes for services. So if you if you can offer a service, you don't have to pay taxes. And, and that's just the beauty of the world. You know, use the world to your advantage rather than um, use, rather than being used. 
um, for other people's gains because nobody's nobody's here to, to, to save you or to look out for you like nobody you know what I mean you are genuinely on your own so you need to figure it out otherwise you're just gonna get played and other people are gonna benefit from it and you're just gonna be behind with the times and you're gonna regret not not, not, not even listening to me because I'm, I'm not your dad <laughs> I'm just saying in general you're gonna regret listening not listening to people that are telling you oh if you do this right you can actually get this and this and that and you can become you know a rich person within this amount of set time if you do this properly rather than being stupid about it and spending the money uh, on weekends like for example again relating to Andrew Tate because anything to do with money kind of he's genuinely the go-to guy he is in all essence the top guy when it comes to money and I do look up to him on that on that end with money because he, he he just makes money in his sleep he's 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 broken the code if that makes sense am i right in saying that there's either there's no shelf for this or i'm tripping you know where is this one very weird isn't it but yeah, anyways he's, he's kind of broken that code so that's why i kind of relate to his stuff when he talks about money and what i was going to refer to is when he says that essentially you can make money and have loads of money and, and spend as much money as you want like, without having to worry about yeah, it's over here without having to worry about it however if you aren't manage, managing that money right he can give you as he said he said he can give you this amount of money and you will fuck it up you know yeah it's it's it, that's the reality you will fudge it up if you don't do it correctly and you don't follow the right steps and you if you aren't aware of the markets that you're in or the markets that you're trying to enter you're going to just basically get played it's as easy as that and nobody can stop you you know nobody can stop you from getting played except yourself um he also says like you're the only person that can essentially mess this up and that's again another reality you're the only one, only person that can genuinely fudge this up and you're the only person that can make it work if you genuinely do it correctly there's no way you won't make it uh like he, what he says is very 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 good when it comes to money um because he's like i've never seen a person that's worked extremely hard and never and, and hasn't made it you know but that's true i haven't seen that i haven't seen that kind of person either uh not yet anyway where they work so hard and they haven't made it i haven't i've seen people that have worked very hard and, and fudged it up because they're idiots yeah that one I, <laughs> i've seen that one you know but uh people that worked hard and haven't made it haven't met one yet yet now look uh, when i do i will 100 <coughs> percent want to have a conversation with them to see what went wrong like what where did you actually mess up and is is a solve you know is is there a way to, to save this salvage this situation or is it just a, a kind of good luck your 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 food you know uh because they're I believe that every single situation can be saved. Every single person can can be uh, rescued from financial situations. Anyway, in my opinion, every single financial situation you can get out of, and you can swingle your way out of. Like another thing that a lot of people talk about is using banks and loans and things. I believe debt is wealth, right? Debt that if you use debt correctly. You, you won't get rich you will get wealthy because if you can use somebody else's money pay them a fraction of the profit that you make and have zero percent of the risk how if you don't make money you're just dumb fun i'll give you an example revenue is a bank if they if revenue offer you revenue offer you a loan they charge between let's say seven and 13 percent depending on your credit score or whatever if you can make 15 percent why wouldn't you want to take that money off them because you're making two percent profit without having to use your own money you know and in some cases let's say you get 10 percent, you're making five percent but i'm just saying even worst case scenario you're paying 13 percent interest you're making two percent right 
obviously, let's take it a, a further step to the Islamic State, where you don't pay interest, you pay a fee or a commission to the bank, which would be very similar or equivalent to a few percentages of interest, right? However, we don't call it interest, we call it profit, which is halal, which is allowed, right? So you could make a house loan or house halal mortgage of 300,000, you have to have a certain amount of income, let's say 30,000, they'll give you 10 extra money. Let's just say for the sake of it, right? Or let's just say you and your wife both earn 30,000, that's 60,000, you five extra money and they give you that kind of mortgage. Five by six, 300,000, right? That 300,000 uh, on a monthly payment could be between 550 to 900 euro on a 300,000, right? Let's say over 30 years with no, or to be honest, uh, I'm completely wrong actually, it, 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 there's no interest, so it's actually gonna be flat fee, 300,000 divided by 35 years, divided by 12, you're gonna be paying 714 euro, or 715 euro every single month, right? In Dubai, an apartment for 300,000 equals to like 1.2 million dirham, and that gives you at least a one, let's just say, the worst case scenario, you make a 1% return, which is 30,000 a year, Divide that by 12 months, you're making 2,500. I'm saying worst case scenario, you're making only 120,000 dirham a year, right? 120,000 dirham a year, which is more than 30,000, but I'm just putting on this uh, best case, let's like, okay, sorry. I'm saying the, the currency is one dirham, uh, sorry, four dirham to one euro, right? Let's just say best, like, you know, best case scenario, you're making 100,000 dirham, right? Divided that by four, let's say, you're making 20, you know, 25,000 euro. 25,000 euro, you're dividing that by 12, you're making 2,083 euro, right? 2,083 euro minus 715, you're making 1,368 euro every single month by leveraging. That's all you're doing. And then, once you have that property, you can get, in 10 months, 13,000 euro. You put that 13,000 euro towards a property that's only now worth maybe 100,000. And you put that as a 10% deposit, you get 90% mortgage, and you go again, and again, and again. However, you have to understand that the more properties you have, the more fees, the more taxes after you reach a certain threshold. Um, but there's no property tax in Dubai. There's no property tax. You don't pay property tax. You don't pay salary tax. You don't pay anything. You know, you pay just a 5% VAT if you reach over, oh, sorry, it's 5% if you reach over 275,000 dirham, I believe, or something close to that, maybe 300,000. And then over 450 or 500 or 600,000 dirham or whatever it is, again, kind of double probably, then you pay 10% and then that's the highest you can pay, right? But that's on, VAT is usually value added tax on services. So you wouldn't pay it if you were renting out the apartment. And another thing that is amazing about Dubai is as soon as you own the property, as soon as you rent it out, you get four checks in most, in best case scenarios, five checks, right? Where basically, sorry, you know, I'm just saying in worst case scenarios, four to five checks is how you get paid. Cause that's how it works in Dubai. You pay four months in advance and then it gave them four, three other checks. And then that's basically you covered for the rest of the year. And you never have to worry about it. Your rent's in a, in, a, in a little check, in a little paper, and that's taken out every four months. So you don't even have to worry about it, you know? And uh, this is how it works. So if imagine you just spent every kind, every, you just spent 30,000, let's say, 30,000 euro, bought a property, let's say it was 330,000, you paid 30,000 off it, your mortgage is 714 euro, you're renting it out for 2,100 euro, let's say. You're left with like 1400 and basically your um, monthly rent is going to be you know the 1400 but you're not getting that 1400 you're actually going to be getting 5600 or actually after you paid the, the quote-unquote mortgage payments but if you want to take it let's say you own a full now you're going to be getting 21 by 4 you're looking at 4400 sorry 8400 euro every four months. So, you know, that's crazy money. Especially when you're, you're, you're leveraging it and you're not paying any taxes. And let's take it, let's take Ireland into account. So 
we'll do only a hundred fifty thousand euro mortgage. One hundred fifty thousand euro mortgage. Your mortgage per month is three hundred fifty-four euro, including the interest of three um, percent. If you were to go to, to the AIB, so you're looking at three hundred fifty-four euro per month um, on a one-bedroom apartment in Dublin. You can get a minimum. I'm just going to say worst case scenario, fifteen hundred euro, right? Fifteen hundred euro minus three hundred fifty. Five euros, like right? you're left with eleven forty-five, right? I'm, I'm saying worst case scenario, you're only getting fifteen hundred, and that's eleven forty-five, right? If you can somehow, well, I'm going to say directly. The answer is very easy. You actually can just get that rental payment and just put it as a service on a company abroad and just charge your company here, so you don't pay any tax. That that can be done as well as tax avoidance. It's halal. It's, halal, it's, it's legal. It's all good. Or you have the other choice where you can pay tax on it. Let's say on rental property, there's a different kind of tax bracket, but I'm just gonna take 20%, right? So I'm divided by 100, multiplied by 20, right? So you're, you're losing 229 euro. So 11.45 minus 229, you're left with like 900 euro. And that's if you pay tax, you're left with 900 euro. Free, free money basically. So now in 10 months, you, you get nine grand, you've basically got your deposit back in the first year. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Like if you're leveraging, that's how you create the wealth. But if you're not leveraging and you're getting a loan and using it for stupid purposes, um, such as maybe, I don't know, credit card repayments, buying a car, for example. Like I feel I'd rather have a 3,850 euro car than the Polo that I spent 10,000 euro on. Um, because at least now I can say I have 6,000 150 euro in my bank account and i have no worries whether the car breaks down because it's not going to be expensive or if it is going to be expensive i have 6150 euro rather than having a 10,000 euro car and have no money <laughs> so or have no yeah exactly basically be left with no money so it, it, it's really about mentality and how you genuinely see your finances like i have to pay in one month exactly from today, I have to pay my insurance, right? My insurance on the car for the whole year is about 15, uh, 1560, 1560 if I wanna pay a monthly. But if I pay it in advance, there's a discount that I'm only paying 1300. Again, no brainer, I, I just saved 20 euros a month just by paying it in advance. Who gives a shit if I pay it all in advance, 1350? But then you have the other side of things. If I can use that 1350 and make 1550 or more by the end of the year, then it's worth it to pay a monthly. But if if I can't, which you can't really, I mean, I wouldn't really be able to do it with a thousand. I'd probably put that thousand part of some other bigger sum and then do it that way. But then it's kind of like, oh, you have to figure out how to, you know, oh, I need to withdraw like. 20% because I need to pay this more like in, get my money back from insurance to invest that money and try to every month take that part out for that part out and then the investment and then the profit and uh, there's no point of dividing all that it's just too much hassle so I just pay it in advance and then just not worry about it and that's simple and then I don't have a monthly bill and I can get more of my wages which when I go to the banks too for example apply for that mortgage they're like, oh, you don't pay insurance. Like, oh, I paid it in full. You can afford to pay your insurance in full. Okay, that's really good. What about your credit card? Oh, how much do you have? Oh, 7,000 euro. Why do you have 7,000 euro? I oh, just don't really use them. Uh, just keep them there just for safety. Okay, well, we won't take that payment into account. Oh, what's your balance here, sir? On your credit card? Oh, it's 10,000. Oh, how, oh, how much do you spend? 10,000. Oh, well, if you're using your whole entire credit card, well, we have to put the, the monthly recurring payment of a thousand euro onto your wages. So that means half of your wages is gone if you're, you know, minimum income in Ireland. And therefore, your mortgage is not going to be approved because if you have debt, if you're paying it constantly, it's going to be taken away from your ability, your purchasing power. But if you can make it in a way where you're bending it, like let's say two months before you apply for your mortgage, you pay off all your credit cards, all your loans, right? And then you go with them and you don't have a down payment and you just tell them, look, I don't have a down payment, but I have no loans, no, no, no credit cards or sorry, I have credit cards, but the balances are zero. Like they're, they're, they're not, they're not being used. Is there any possibility you can give me the down payment? They'll be like, yeah, we'll give you the down payment. I will give you the mortgage because they know you have the ability to power your ability to, to pay that mortgage and pay that, that, that loan back in, in two to five years and pay the mortgage back in 35 years, hundred percent. Because they know that if you're making 2,000 euro and you're spending zero, let's say, you live with your parents, you make up a whole scenario where you're living with your parents, you're not paying them rent, 
you're keeping the 2,000 euro, blah, blah, blah. And then you get that second property, you rent it out, or sorry, you, you get your first property, you rent it out, and there you go, now you have a third income. But if you're not, if you're not realizing what you're spending or where your money goes, it's gonna be impossible for you to figure out where, where you could save money, where you can invest money. Because I feel like everybody on the internet just tells you, make more money, make more money, and teaches you and sells you bullshit of how to make money. But I, I haven't genuinely seen one person that says manage your money properly. Like, actually sit down with yourself and be like, what are you spending your money on? Because if you're watching this video, you're clearly watching it on an iPhone or an Android or a tablet or something that you've paid with either your wages or your parents have given you pocket money or whatever. So you have some sort of revenue or income source that's in your bank account every single month or every single week, whether it's cash, savings, whatever it is. That's the way I look at it, you know? You just have to be smart with the money. Uh, but yeah, I'd say that's, that's me done rambling on. I'm gonna focus on the game now. That was really good products not found tree. Not bad again, very, very good. So yeah, 4,200 supply costs. Well, oh, I haven't even paid my rent in so long. Puree and ice cream, puree and ice cream. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, let's, uh, let's focus on the game now and actually enjoy it. Wow, went up 95 cents. I like that. I like that pricing, man. Seven. Oh my god, I've been getting grubbed. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go around looking at the pricing actually just to make sure. 1190, 1675, 285, 390. We need to get more potato, potato. Oh, we still have 7400 and we're like really stocked up as well, which is not bad. Looks awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hate when I misclick. It's uh, super frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I'd say what I'm gonna do is start serving as well, because I I am a level I'm nearly at level forty one, so I should start serving just so by the time we get to the next next level, we actually do have the level maximized. Uh, maximized or at least reached a, a decent level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna buy some chicken and toy roll. Chicken and one, two, three, four. Just because they always they seem to be running low and I don't wanna stop my 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 cashier serving just for the purpose of restocking. Especially when I see it right now, you know. It's kinda of foolish not to restock while I see it. Uh, do that there. And then this should be the chicken, chicken, and chicken. Perfect. So now I'm gonna, essentially, I'm gonna. Uh, so they have nothing to restock. I'm gonna turn this on right here. I'm gonna buy one more cash here. Okay. Or actually, no, I'm just gonna fire them. I'm just gonna serve everyone actually. Because uh, I'll definitely make 300 bucks back anyway um, from serving. So. I'm just gonna box them up, unfortunately, because otherwise they'll just go to these. They'll just go to these guys, and it's, it's just gonna annoy me. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep them exactly where we're gonna position them, and we can open the store. I'm um, gonna we'll wait for the customers to come. Okay, so we need to buy more of that cheese and more of that water. Some more cheese, more water. Yeah. So now what I what I would expect. From you guys would be commenting down below like richard you're an absolute dumbass you don't know what you're talking about or i'd expect some people to be like okay i agree but how can i do it and then how can i improve myself or how can i become a better version of myself or how can i do this and do that you know or commentary like oh i already do this and the way i did it was this 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 and then people commenting like okay so you did it that way I, i'm gonna try follow your footsteps as well to see if i can do it that way as well uh, and if that works for me, then it's gonna work for this brother and that sister and this person and that blah blah blah. But if uh, nobody talks, then yeah, it's great. That's gonna be great insight. You know, that's gonna be amazing um, because we can definitely all learn from each other. That's one hundred percent guarantee. And I'm probably gonna serve and then just end it here, to be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed listening to 
I think what what was really like a, a decent oh my god what I'm gonna give you one sentence just because you annoy me honestly like you're so annoying who gives who comes in to buy something uh, there you go oh 60 cents sorry all the way to 100 just because you're so annoying there you go I hope that fits in your pocket <laughs> If somebody gave me that, I'll slap them over the cash register. I won't give a, I won't even lie. I'll slap them. Uh, yeah, so cool. Thanks for that. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to do the same kind of outro that I usually do, which is just kind of like a speed run. And that's it. Deuces.